no plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Follow like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending. We got no plans. This is your moment of clarity coming to you today from Toronto, Canada. Up until Sandy hit and washed away parts of New York and New Jersey, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama had hardly mentioned global warming or rising sea levels in any way. This is the first time the presidential debates didn't mention climate change since the year 1980, and these are supposed to be the bold leaders who will take us into the next four years? If you want to be bold leaders, then have some and stop just ignoring climate change. Take it a step further and talk about all the positives of it. People love beachfront property and now rather than spending long hours in the car, the beach is coming to them. No more strapping your dog to the roof of your beamer and hog tying your kids in the back seat. Now the ocean is in your living room. You ever seen somebody swimming in the ocean? They're usually as happy as a clam in or a pig in a diner. Or, or whatever the expression is, people love swimming. And now, more water. More water everywhere for swimmers to enjoy. A lot of cities need a bath. They haven't been cleaned in a while. This is nature's cleaning. Plus, there's a rat problem in my town, New York City. But now the rats are either dead or have become amphibious. At a time when so many people are lamenting mass extinctions, Hurricane Sandy has created perhaps new and better rats. The subway system is flooded, but that could lead to a cool new waterway system. Did you ever see that movie Waterworld? No one else did either. But it wasn't just an instruction guide for creating a bad movie. It was also an instruction guide for creating a water world. Sure, some people's homes are burning down, but some of them weren't sure how they were going to pay for heat during what have become very extreme winters, so they got their winter heat for free all at once. Of course, there are a few small negatives about disasters like Hurricane Sandy. People seem to be willing to help their fellow man for no profit. And our corporatized society has taught us that anything done outside of the profit motive is bad for business. So let's use this as a teaching moment about privatizing all of our first responders and FEMA. In our current system, imagine if a luxury apartment was flooding at the same time a homeless guy was drowning. The firefighters might say, the homeless guy's life when clearly the rich people's lives are worth much more. If we privatize these things, the firefighters would have a very clear idea of who needs to be saved and who hasn't paid for service. And in terms of the other people volunteering their time to help their neighbors, I'm going to go do my best to sabotage their efforts. While they're pumping water out of one side of the house, I'll be at the back door shoveling it back in, teaching them an important lesson. Work without profit is meaningless. Mr. Obama, Mr. Romney, I encourage you to come down for a photo op doing the exact same, sticking children back into floating cars, poking holes in canoes, going into shelters, and dumping out the soup. Don't get me wrong, you've done a great job of completely ignoring climate change, growing storms, increasing drought, more extreme temperatures than we've ever seen, but I think it would show more real leadership to take the next step and help it along. That's been your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. I have two new videos I really think you'd enjoy. One is my interview with Green Party presidential candidate Jill Stein, and the other is my investigative report into tax havens filmed live in the Cayman Islands, where we went into the biggest tax havens in the world with hidden cameras. OperationCaymans.com, and keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Follow like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretend